Tonight, we learned that student protesters at the University of Oregon have reached an agreement with school officials to take down their encampment following 25 days of protest, encampments and negotiations across the campus. KZI 9 News reporter Aaron Ariano is live at the University of Oregon. Aaron, uh, what is the latest that you're hearing of, about the encampment and uh, what's it look like out there this midday? Well, Adam, this is more than likely the final morning for these University of Oregon student protesters. As you can see behind me, they wasted no time uh, cleaning up this morning. Uh, right now, all that's left, just a few dozen uh, or more or less of tents uh, placed right here adjacent to uh, Fenton Hall, which is right across the street from Johnson Hall. If Allow me to turn the camera just a, a bit here, but they woke up around 9, 10 this morning and they just got straight to it. They did start cleaning up a little bit uh, last night and that's all because of an agreement that was reached on Wednesday night between University of Oregon administration and these student protesters. Now take a look at the scene from last night. After that announcement, uh, lots of music, uh, lots of dancing and laughter from the student protesters. You could see that they're uh, back then, uh, they were starting their cleanup process. Now I'm told by a student protester here that it was a lot of academic wins in that agreement. Both sides agreed for the University of Oregon to establish a task force. They say that will look into the ethics of the university's investments as well as uh, try to be a little bit more transparent to students on their investments. Now, we also know a scholarship is, uh, a, is to be set up for an exchange program that would help at least five displaced students in Gaza. Uh, and President Scholz is to uh, publicly call for a ceasefire in the Middle East in a statement. I know uh, at one point they were saying that was the bare minimum for the president uh, to speak out for a ceasefire. Uh, those were agreed upon by both University of Oregon admin and the student protesters. But the number one demand of divestment from companies accused of profiting off the war in the Middle East, that was not on the table. And despite all the signs you saw calling for that divestment, uh, this student protester did not think that it was actually obtainable. I don't think it, it was realistic to, I don't think anyone went into this thinking that we would get divestment by the end of this. It's pretty rare that you get full divestment at the end of an encampment. And again, like, as you said, we're not leaving. We're setting, you know, ourselves up for something else now, um, now that we can sleep in our own beds. She went on to say she felt the administration was growing increasingly impatient with the students, but they were uh, finalizing that agreement. And last night, the admin even gave them back their amnesty to those in the encampment. That's what uh, uh, they told me there. But back out here live, I've asked a couple times uh, when exactly they're supposed to be out of here. I've got a couple different answers. Uh, some people were saying around nine o'clock, but I'm also told that they should be out of here way before then. So uh, coming up at the bottom of the hour, hear what they have planned next. We'll tell you coming up at 1130. For now, reporting live at the University of Oregon, Aaron Ariano, KZI 9 News.